Hello? Yo, just stand. Are you gonna talk or no? Okay, this stream or video after is going to be strictly on making a Sonic level, Sonic World level, or any anything actually, but basic. It's not going to be advanced like this. Yeah, Spring Stadium is well over 200k faces, so yeah. After much practice and stuff, you will learn how to do th expert stages like this. Yeah, so. So, I'm doing this for those who want to learn how to make a Blitz Sonic stage. Like, just stand over here. Um, if you're hearing me, just tell, let me know. If you don't, let me know as well. Um, yeah. I will use use Unity, but still. Basic. Just saying. Unity is for the future right now. Right now is just for R8 or R7, but yeah. Um, okay, so when you get SketchUp 2015, I use 15. That's that's my preference. Um, because I don't have like any other extra stuff that they added for 16 and 17. So I put in the description the link to 15. You won't find it anywhere else. So I have it there. So you download that on Meteorfire. And yeah, if you have 16, I use 16, I tried it. It's good, but um, when it exports, like later in the tutorial, when, I, when you have to export, when it exports into the document it, um, where you want it to export, it won't export there. It will export into the documents folder and that's kind of tedious. So yeah, go in the description and download SketchUp 15. Uh, my friend Just Stand here already downloaded it so he's ready to go um, so after you install it and everything you should um, you should get a box saying uh, let me open up a new one okay you should get a box right here after saying it says learn license and template so you have to choose your template first in order to op um, open up SketchUp so template what I personally use is feet and inches you can use meters or feet and inches but feet and inches is, is what I use okay so start using SketchUp you should get you should get a new screen it's like green and everything and it, ha it only has a man I believe yeah hold up it's loading <clears throat> yeah so you should get a man that's on the screen. Every time you start a level, making a level, first thing you should do is delete that man. So you click him and press delete. Gone. And also um, press B for to open up your bucket or your materials list and delete all. Um, click the arrow right here um, by in model. Actually, no, first. Click the house. You get the, all your materials that's in the in the um, model file and then after that click the arrow beside it and delete all 
See? Yeah. So if I delete, I, you, it doesn't matter what order you do, just make sure you delete both the materials and the old man. So you have a clean template. I've seen people make stages with that, um, with that man, and I don't know why. What's Miles? I don't know what Miles is. Okay. Um, so back on topic. So here, you have a clean template now since you deleted the man and its textures, his textures. So, first things first. Always have a layout or like what you're going to make the level, like how you're going to make it look like, okay? So, I always like in whatever I'm doing, I always like think, okay, how am I going to make this level like look or how am I going to start it? Yeah, always have a layout before you make a level. Don't you don't just start off not not even knowing what to do. Okay? So, um I always that's me. Uh, um, you can start with whatever, but in order to start drawing, you start with the pencil, the art drawer, or the shapes, okay? Um, so I always start with like a basic rectangle, and I start putting my ideas in, or square. Well, um, yeah, just put my ideas in and think of what I'm going to do next. So basic square, that's when I start drawing whatever, so pencil. Um, I always use midpoints as reference points so I can have equal squares or equal whatever. So yeah, triangles, if you want a circle, I just put it in the middle here and just make a circle as much as, as, lo as large as that, so yeah. And then there's the eraser, it gets rid of whatever that you don't want. Be careful because you could erase something accidentally and then you don't well you can undo but you might lose something okay so yeah so that's basic that's the basic startup okay oh I'm just down the stream is up just saying I'll link you right now since you don't find it. All right, so. So back on topic. Um, yeah, so let's say I want to start making a, a tube, I guess, yeah. So. First off, you need to know the axis. So, the green line here is the x axis, and the red line is the z axis. And blue is obviously y because it's the only thing going up. That's three dimensional. That's the three dim dimensional axis, okay? So, um,. Yeah, you have polygon, circle, rectangle, and everything. So I always start from the origin point, which is where all three axes meet. Okay? So I just draw it. Then, for a tube, right? So I just start, I draw a line on the y-axis. I need, I need to have it vertical. So there, I have a square right here, or rectangle here. Then somewhere, I draw a circle and then here's an, a, another interesting tool that's very useful the push and pull so you do this you, right now I'm, pu I'm pushing it so I have an automatic tube see or yeah pull it's over here now so yeah Um, there's also the move feature, so you can move your stuff. Make sure you select. So, Control A, you select everything, right? Um, click on a face, and you can move it. So, if I click here, I can move that as well. Yeah. 
There's the rotate button, so you can rotate however you want to rotate it. Yeah. And offset. So if you want to make a smaller version of the shape that you just made, you just click it and you can just drag it. Or you make it bigger. So bigger or smaller, but it's the same shape. Just offset like that. See, I can make a bigger tube with that. See. Yeah. So that's the other five. Um, well, scale is also important if you want to make it smaller or bigger. And that's a big issue in the making community. People tend to like make huge stages or pretty small. So click the scale and you just scale it how big or small you need to measure it by in, into you need to um, into the game. So yeah. There's that. Those are those 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 are those five special tools. So right now we just covered there's the select tool like the mouse, right? So you can select what you want to select. Yeah. Then eraser, pencil, arcs, so you can draw an arc here. And then extend it or whatever there. Or the four shapes here. Push pull. Offset, make bigger or smaller shapes of the same shape. Move, you're going to need to move a lot. Rotate, yeah. And then um, scale, all right. Now these rotate, rotate camera. These are the cam buttons. The spinner thing here spins the cam exactly for you. If you hold shift, you can move camera but or just click the move here but I always I'm always on the rotate and then hold shift to move it's very fast and easy then zoom so you can get a closer look or zoom out to get a better view of whatever that's in the model or um, extensive extensive zoom so it gets a view of the entire model all right so here that's all the basic tools. Then the other four here you don't need. All right. Um, this, the, the other two, these two here. Um, actually, no. If you wanted to add words, you click on the text button. Say how long you want it. Type something. I think. Well, this is, these are just comments. Just saying, oh, this is that. This is that. If you want to add actual 3D text, you go to draw. Wait, no. To, you go to tools, then you type in 3D, you click 3D text, okay? And let it load, and then it'll give you options of what to type. So here, enter text. So I'll just put Jalex 777. Choose your font. Um, I'll use the Sonic Forces font. I have should be there. It's probably not installed in Sketchup though. It's, yeah, it's not there. But I have the okay. I'll use the Zega font instead. Um, so align it to left, center, or right. Um, center is better. And see how tall are you or well, you don't need to. You can scale it afterwards. So right now it's um. 10 inches wide and one inch tall. So you t just place it here. Um, you can rotate it from a point, make it line upwards. So yeah, Jalak 777. Um, yeah. And if you want to make it bigger or smaller, just click the scale button. See? And there you go. Let's see what people said. Yeah, it's pretty tedious, but I get that it's pretty fun for me because I get to like let all my my creative ideas just go into play and just put it down. Yeah, and the stream will be available as a video afterwards when I just 
when I turn off stream. Yeah, so don't worry, the stream won't disappear. So that's that's the basics. So my friend um just stand here. Well, looks like he left. Um Yeah, he left. Okay, but what he wanted to do was make a Green Hill level or something like that. I don't know why, because Green Hill's the most repetitive level in Sonic history, and I don't like it anymore. So, he, I don't know what he wanted, but he said he wanted to like make it like the Sonic Forces layout or something like that. So, basic square, half square, um, or basically make it a half rectangle, then push-pull. Oh, and if you don't want to ha make it have a hole like this, see now it's a hole under, um, just hold control. Control will alter the effects of whatever tool you're using. So if I just hold control and do this, see, no, there's no hole now. It's a complete block. Okay, and then I think there's like three steps or something like that. He said he wanted to combine like Park Avenue and Green Hill or something like that. And then, yeah, so you just do that. And then he wanted, yeah, three steps. There's three steps in the modern Sonic gameplay, right? So, um, bring that down, bring that down lower, bring that down as well. So those are three basic steps right there. So yeah. So then you play well, in game. You just place your enemies here in debug mode, and then yeah, just keep making your level. Now export it. Um, after you finish making your level like this <laughs> um, this is Spring Stadium that is going to be an R8 soon after I finish modeling it um, okay so this has oh, okay first off before you export always check your face count to check your face count go to model info it's in window so model info and you'll see faces here so right here it has 12 always to be safe um, 20k is not the max, but um, in Sonic World, anything above 20k might cr most likely will crash. So crash the game. So um, see, this has 200k faces, like more than that. So that's bound to crash. Um, so you're gonna have to export it in parts. So another aspect of SketchUp, you can group things. So select what you want to put in a group so if I want to export just the beginning square I press um, I um, where is it? I go to edit and make a group see now it's, it's by itself it's it's, uh, it's its own part now see I can do whatever it is and then see here I have two parts now so that group and this section here are steps so I export them separately okay so uh, let's go to yeah R8 well your Sonic World folder folder go in stages make a new folder name it well I'm t this is a tutorial stage so I'll call it tutorial stage You, um, you could, if you're gonna make, as Just Stand um, wanted to make, he wanted to make a Park Avenue Green Hill zone, so Park Avenue Green Hill. That's gonna be a long name, but yeah, so name it whatever the stage name is gonna be. So state, you open up the stages XML with Notepad or whatever text editor you, that you got. You copy the stage name in it. Paste it in. Uh, this is like another tutorial, basically, how to add stages in Sonic World. So yeah, you copy the stage name, you copy, um, and then you open your text editor, like a Notepad. I use Notepad. So Spring Stadium, I paste it, and whatever. Always, if you want to add a new line, so copy this and add it below. Easy simple one two three things I don't know yeah so add, I just added tutorial stage so 
In tutorial stage, there's three basic folders you need. So in Spring Stadium, I have Media, Skydome, and Stage itself. So in tutorial stage, Media, so Music and the thumbnail and its missions, Skydome for the sky, and Stage. So that's where the stage contents um, go in. And the most important thing in the stage thing is the stage XML. So just copy it from another um, stage, whatever, and copy and paste it into your stage, okay? You open that up and have it have it at the ready so um, you can start editing. So Skydome, that you copy from any other stage. You can edit the sky after, like get a new picture or something. But just copy, um, hold up. Yeah, just copy and paste it into your um, your stage. Um, then in the stage folder, as I said, so there's a special plugin. There's a special plugin that I posted in the description. Say with um, it's an extension, so um, it helps you export into X files, which is also read by Blitzonic. Um, oh yeah. So this just stand. Yeah, he's watching the video now. But um, yeah. So as I was saying, so there's a the three D Rad plugin. I posted this link in the description. You won't find it anywhere else because the guy took down the link. But I have it on my media file, so you can download it freely. Um, so yeah, you download that. SketchUp doesn't come with um pre-installed plugins. So I know people won't have that extensions tab here. See this? After you install the 3D RAD plugin, you will have this. Okay, so go into your local disk. Open that up. You go into program files. Look for the SketchUp folder. See, I have all three SketchUps just in case I have to update something, but yeah. SketchUp 2015, you go into Tools, and you drop any of your um, extensions here. See, I have a lot. I'll get into that later, but the main, main extension that you need is the 3D Rad expo Exporter. So you put that here. Um, so yeah, after you do that, um, restart SketchUp. And the extensions full um extensions tab should show up. If it doesn't, you can try the alternate way of doing things. So you go into preferences. It's under the window tab. Okay. Um, I'll go into shortcuts later. Um, extensions. Then install the extension. Go into the folder that you have your extensions in, which is what I just showed you: program files, SketchUp, and then tools. Um, I guess I got some new extensions, so I'll um, I'll install one of them. So there's the joint push and pull one. Say yes, install it. So yeah, it's successfully installed. So you restart SketchUp, or it should be there. Just check. But if it's not, just re um, install SketchUp again. Um, re restart SketchUp again. So okay. See, I just got my new extension. So when you restart SketchUp, make sure you save your model file though before, yeah. So you should have these. So the only you shouldn't worry about the other stuff. Only export as generic X file or um, export as generic X file. Include the back faces. I use back faces a lot, but um, it doesn't increase your face count. Don't worry about that. The back faces are part of the same face that is there. So a back face. Is basically see this is the front face here. A back face is basically the other side of it. So this is one face. It's not going to be doubled or anything. Don't worry. So extensions. If you now, I, as I said, if you're if you happen to have a stage that's above 20k, start splitting into groups. So I have one group here already. So I select everything. 
then I deselect the group so I can have it there by itself. So control, shift, click. And I press delete. See, now only that's there. Now I can export that by itself. So export as generic X file. So um, it won't have any backfaces. The only thing that will show is this. And this won't be shown. Okay. So export. I'm going to export with the backface. So um, I just made the folder, right? So it should be recent. Yeah, it is. So go to your stage, go inside stage, name it, name the X file, whatever you want. So I usually call them stage. So, but since it's parts, I'm going to call it stage one or part one, if you want. Save it. And it will say export it successfully. C control Z, undo everything. Then um, export the next part. So you click the group that you just exported or um, ex um, delete the part that you just exported. So I only have two parts, so it's obvious I'll delete this one. So all that's left is this. So same thing. Export generic X file. So stage part two or stage two. So I have my two files now. Oh, I forgot about one thing. Um, add in textures. So press B or tools, paint bucket, and you add a texture with that plus sign right there. And then you click the folder here. Then you just find your texture wherever, you, wherever you're going for it. Um, so I'll go into Spring Stadium, take a texture. So here's my tile. You can edit it. You can edit the size of the texture. So I'll paste, 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 paste. Or just if you hold control, you can fill in any white spaces or whatever um, your texture is. So look, if I hold control paint bucket, I got everywhere. Easy. So um, after that, yeah, so. You can edit the size of the texture. So right now it's one in, no, it's one foot. So um, I can make it 10 feet, see much bigger. Or 100 feet, yeah, that's even bigger than before. So yeah, or 1,000 feet, yeah, just you can put as, as large as you want. So I'll put it at 10, 10 feet, I guess. Um, you can add, you can make it transparent. So right now it's at 100 transparency so that means it's not transparent um, I'll make this this one see-through I guess I'll add another texture so um, let's add the balloon right here so I can make that see-through um, if you want to make it totally invisible do not put it on zero that will not work put it on one that will work, okay? But, okay, for example, I'll put it on 50 transparency. But yeah, as I said, if you want it completely invisible, put it on one, not zero, okay? So yeah, uh, yeah, the back faces wasn't um, colored, so I'll color that in. So there you go. That's the stage right here. So I'll just... Um, export separately as I said so control a deselect export separately um, go up where is it? the tutorial stage that was part one so I'll put it as part one export success control Z export separately can stage two there you go and they that's all um then you test your stage oh wait um, before you test your stage, you gotta you have to declare the stage files that you just exported. So um, here, so you should have something mesh. Mesh is the default thing, so to make sure you have mesh here. So type in. You should have stage slash then whatever file that you named it. So here, it's called stage one. So I copy stage one. Replace it with stage one. There, easy. Um, then you copy you copy the mesh um, section that you have here. So I, I copy and paste it here. Then I add the next one. So stage two. 
Easy. Um, you can add, you can edit its position in the game. You can edit its um, rotation. Scale is important as well because I see people abuse that a lot. Um, so right now, it's scale eight, whatever. I'll get into lighting and objects later, I guess. Uh, make sure you have the correct Skydome name. So you go into Skydome, Sky B3D. So I have Sky B3D here. Perfect. Great. If you want to turn on something, you turn like okay. Let's say um, I wanted snow to or rain. I'll have rain. So I'll turn on rain by turning the zero on to one. I have the sun on. I can turn that off to zero. See. So on is one. Off is zero. Okay. So I'll turn on the sun again. Um, you can have the earth below or the moon below. Or wind on or whatever the water level if you want to turn that on put that as one okay if you want it off turn it off with zero as I said so yeah that's the basics so I'm about to test it save your XML so saved turn on the game Hey guys, don't worry. I won't delete the stream. The stream will be saved there. Okay? I saved my other three streams if you want to watch those as well. So this will be saved as well. Don't worry about it. And yeah, if you move the extension to um, the tools folder, and if it doesn't work, just install it. Okay? Save the stage was right there so I opened that up see levels right here easy so um, I have the scale at eight right so if I had it at one that would be probably be that would be small so I'll just put it at one and show you guys how small it is so stage two, I'll just edit the stage two part. I'll restart that. All right, bring it on! See, look how small that is. <laughs> it even moved position because that's not the right scale compared to the other one part. So yeah, so I'll put that back right at that scale eight or ten. Make it bigger. If you want everything to be at per like perfectly the same size, make sure every part has the same scale, okay? Save. Restart. Yeah. There you go. It's much bigger. It's bigger than before by a bit. Let's make it probably five times bigger. So I'll just have one page. 2.5 times bigger, so I'll make it 25 scale. It'll make, it'll make the steps look bigger. Save. Restart. Feeling good. There you go. Steps are right here. Perfect. The sun is over there, so you turn that on. Everything's looking good. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, so I'll get into the water types right now. So turn on water. Um, actually, no, depth, I'll, I'll do it with depth level right now. I see people have ridiculous low, ridiculously like low depth level. So in debug mode, you have, oh, well, make sure you turn on debug mode in the game first. Oh look, Sonic Wind Blue just added another video. Okay, um, so make sure you have that on. So you press that. Check the lowest level. So look at the Y axis. See, I'm, I'm moving up and down. You see the numbers that are changing. Look at that. And let's say I want people to die around right here in case they fall. So probably level 40, negative 40 or 38. 
So I put in the XML negative 40. I can even put the level there, the water level there, so negative 40. Restart. See, the water's there. If I'm not there, I die. Yeah. Oh, the water's looking pretty far. Alright, bring it on! So that's water. This, right now in R7, there's four types. So normal water. And then the other three, you have to put type equals um, quotation marks. Then you put, okay, acid. That works. Acid's that green thing from Sonic Adventure 2. Yeah. Yeah, acid's from that green thing from Sonic Adventure 2. So, yeah. See, it's right there. Would you look at that? And if I fall in that, death. Whoa! Let's go. There's acid, there's lava, and there's ocean water. Um, there's more in R8. So yeah. All right, bring it on. See, look at that lava. Boom. So that's the lava right there. So. The other one is ocean. It's just the ocean is just the same. It's like the same water, but it's the water from Sonic Adventure 2. So let's go. Yeah, but since I have the death level right there, so boom. No! so yeah, that's the basics of stage making. Um, that's all right, I believe. Yeah, just keep editing, keep making your stages. Um, keep keep at it. You keep practicing, and you'll become an expert like the big guys, like me, I guess. <laughs> um, what else? I, I think I'm missing something. I don't remember what though. Um, oh yeah, shortcuts. Um, I'll teach you guys my tricks. And my like how fa like people know me for finishing stages pretty fast because I have my shortcuts on so um like I have for eraser E button bucket B button so I just press my button and I'm good to go and this I'll I'll deal with that later but yeah that's the basics of stage making I'll export my Sprint Stadium like my newer version to see how good it looks in the game so as you can see I have it in parts right and that's well over 20k that's Time, 10 times as bit size so um, I'll delete the groups that I have I'll whoa that dropped it by a lot um, uh, what else am I missing to delete this this no not really um, there's something else I was supposed to export oh yeah See, this Robotnik is high poly, so I'll delete that as well. So, before you export, always make sure that you have below 20k faces. You can check that out in the model info part. So, yeah, there's some more high poly stuff over there. I'll just zoom into that. Um, we'll turn that off quickly. Okay, so I'll just go inside the level, delete that, see how deep, yeah, I'm almost at 20k, um, just have to delete one more thing, I guess, so I'll zoom out, so this is high poly, I guess, almost there, delete this, yeah, just one more, I guess. Yeah. There, I'm, I'm under 20k, so I export. Give it some time, because the bigger the level, the longer it takes to load and stuff. Oh, Dark Gaia, you're not sending your stages for me to add to the website, so like send those over. 
Um, corkscrews are possible, but you have to be really lucky, so I tend to avoid those. So you see in Radical Highway that Oz showcased? Yeah, when I was making it, yeah, the corkscrews were bad. Like, I just kept, I just kept going through it. Like, I was clipping through it. Oh, so, stage ready. Um, I'll save the stage, X, yeah. Let it convert. We'll see how many faces is converting at once. Give it a time. Um, oh, you're making a stage pack. Okay, it makes sense. Um, let me know when that's done. Mm, I'm missing stuff. Yeah, right now, Spring Stadium is basically done. I'm just making the props. Gerbil's helping me out as well on that, so yeah. Um, close that. Yeah, since this is a big, like, big, a lot of faces, so it's taking a while to export. I uh, just give it time. Okay, it's done exporting, I believe. Yep, it's done. So I'm gonna quit and check it out. <laughs> oh yeah, so um, thumbnails, forgot about that. So um, always get, like just copy your thumbnail from another stage it's always going to be 400 times 300, 308 dimensions, okay? So it'll be looking like this. Oh, hold up. So it has to be that size, okay? Yeah, so this size, okay, so 400 times 308. You can use a paint editor or paint.net editor, it's fine. So, um, always, always make your thumbnail after you're totally done making the stage, without objects though. So, like, this is a good picture, I guess, when it's ready, but, like, yeah. So, you press that by pressing F11 in game, hide interface by, yeah, and then you just go. So these are the new props I just made recently. So yeah. Oh, that does not look good. See, I have to update that later. Uh, yeah. I updated the textures a bit. So yeah, as I was saying, just keep at it, keep practicing, and you'll become an expert like me and Aloy even, or Oshkrash. Yeah. Um, he used to use SketchUp as well when he first started. Um, I'm starting to learn, I'm, I'm using Blender for a few things, like Hilltop Heights was my first Blender stage, Hilltop, um, yeah, Hilltop Heights, then there's Hidden Palace, that was Blender. Um, easy, like easy, um, easy to make stages like like 3D blast stages like Spring Stadium like for example and Rusty Ruin yeah they were made in SketchUp but like any other like high poly demanding stages or kind of creative natural environments like Green Hill even I hate Green Hill but yeah um, use Blender or learn that 
but this is for basic stage making okay all right so that concludes my tutorial it, it don't worry it'll be saved like all my other streams are in so yeah i hope you enjoy your day and have fun stage making goodbye